Welcome once again, my fellow manipulators of digital fate. I'm Richie, this is Capricorn. Early access is over, but decks continue to drop on the channel from early access every single day, and I've got even new, even much newer brews coming as well that I've been making since the set has launched on Arena. Uh, some really cool stuff. Before we talk about today's deck, I want to give a huge shout out to my patrons over at patreon.com slash quarantined Capricorn. That's Yuck Fuzzy, Noah Vincent, Squirrel, and Brittany at the Brew Crew Elite tier, and then of course Terrence Rohrbach, our forever CPU savior. You guys help us keep the channel going, so I greatly appreciate it. Uh, this deck in particular is called Agatha's Obstacle Course. Now the idea here is we're using a new card from Wild of Eldraine, Agatha's Soul Cauldron and this lets us give all activated abilities of whatever creatures we exile from our graveyard with it to all of our creatures that happen to have plus one plus one counters on them while also putting a plus one plus one counter on at least one of our creatures so that it, we make sure at least one of our creatures gets that immediately and there are so many ways to break this wide open so this deck is just the first of a few different ideas we have for this deck and this one's kind of testing a toolbox sort of scenario where we're able to tutor up different types of cards that we can use to sort of try to break Agatha's Soul Cauldron with something like Fauna Shaman and I won't get too much more deep into it until we get into the deck tech portion but uh before we do that make sure you like subscribe leave me a comment down below on what you think is the most busted card to use Agatha's Soul Cauldron with. I have a couple ideas that I'm going to save for a future video, I'm not going to let slip just yet, but there are some really crazy cards that you can combine with Agatha's Soul Cauldron for some ridiculous effects, and we do a lot of them in this deck, but I've got, I've got even more ideas for the future, but if you've got ideas about what creature you'd like to see comboed with Agatha's Soul Cauldron, what you think really puts the card over the top, comment below and let me know what creature you think would be wild to sort of try to build a deck around. But uh, also, catch me live on Twitch Monday through Friday at twitch.tv slash quarantined Capricorn, because if I'm alive and I'm breathing, I'm there and I'm streaming, let's talk about this deck. Alright, so this deck's called Agatha's Obstacle Course, and the idea here is we're trying to break the new card Agatha's Soul Cauldron as much as we can. Uh, two mana for a legendary artifact, it lets us spend mana as though it were mana of any color to activate abilities of creatures you control, and also creatures you control with plus one plus one counters on them have all activated abilities of all creature cards exiled with Agatha's, Agatha's Soul Cauldron. At any time, you don't have to pay any mana, you can tap this, exile any card from a graveyard but if that cre if that card is a creature card uh you get to put a plus one plus one counter on any creature you want any creature you control rather um so basically not only does this grow your creature with your creatures with plus one plus one counters but it also gives all of your creatures all of the abilities of all of your other creatures which just gets absolutely absurd in the right combinations so what we're trying to do is pair Agatha's Soul Cauldron with four copies of Training Grounds, which makes it so that all activated abilities actually cost two less. And because Agatha's Soul Cauldron lets us spend mana of any color, uh, that, that two less is actually more effective in this deck while using Agatha's Soul Cauldron, which is kind of wild. We've also got Fauna Shaman, four copies, because its activated ability will let us discard a creature card to search for anything, which lets us treat this deck like a toolbox deck, where we have one-ofs of certain cards, and if we're in certain situations that we absolutely have to deal with, we can just search up that card. And even if they kill our Fauna Shaman, it doesn't matter because the ability is an activated ability, so we exile the Fauna Shaman from our graveyard with Agatha's Soul Cauldron, and now all of our creatures that have counters, one of which is getting a counter from the Soul Cauldron right then, so we at least have one, uh, are, is gonna have the Fauna Shaman ability, along with every other ability from everything that's been exiled with the Soul Cauldron. So, it's kinda like an inevitability where they can't stop us from finding the right creatures we need to find, unless they just kill us quick enough. <laughs> um, but we make that hard for them with things like Surge Engine, which comes down as a really good blocker, 2 mana, 3, 2. But if we get our combo online, we're able to not only just activate the second ability for 1 mana, the third ability for 
only four mana and draw three cards. But if we exile this with Agatha's Soul Cauldron, every creature gains this ability, but none of them have Defender. So they can just skip over the first activation completely, which means all they need to do is just pay one blue mana if Training Grounds is down as well, and they turn into a 5-4, and then all they need to do is pay four mana and you get to draw three cards. Every single creature you have on the field, you put a counter on, you can activate that ability and draw three cards, and it gets crazy, especially because this is just a great defender that's going to trade with things and keep you alive in the early game, and then just be in the graveyard for you to exile and do that with later on. And in the same sort of, um, in the same style as that, we use Malevolent Hermit for the same reasons, where this will come down early, which is why we have four copies, and be able to protect some of our key assets be able to counter some of their non-creature spells and then once we do it's in the yard and once we exile it with Agatha's soul cauldron now every creature on the field that we have can be a counter spell for non-creature spells and we can sacrifice our lesser ones to protect our better ones and make sure we get our our combos or our absolute value to pan out so that we can win the game speaking of absolute value we have three kami uh sorry four kami of the whispered hopes because it taps to make as much mana as its power is, and it puts an additional counter on anything that gets a counter. So if we use, use Agatha's Soul Cauldron on it, it's going to put two counters on the Kami of Whispered Hopes and give it all the abilities of everything it exiles, which means now Kami can tap for three mana, and if we also exile Sleep Cursed Fairy, which is a new fairy that's a 3-3 flying ward 2 for just one blue, with the downside that it comes in with three stun counters on it and doesn't untap until they're all gone. But the upside is it's got an activated ability, two mana to untap it. So if we already have Sleep Cursed Fairy exiled with Agatha's Soul Cauldron, and then we use the Soul Cauldron to put counters on the Kami, now the Kami taps for three mana, and then you can pay two to untap it and tap it for three mana and pay two to untap it. Essentially, you get an infinite amount of mana and an infinite amount of taps to completely go off. And how do we go off with this? There's a couple different ways. Olivia's Attendance. If we get this under Agatha's Soul Cauldron, we can just, every three mana we pay, we do a damage to something. Uh, but even if we're not going off with infinite mana, we can still use this if a Training Grounds is in play because then it turns into just one red mana per activation. And because of Agatha's Soul Cauldron, that one red mana just turns into one colorless. So even if we don't have our complete combo out, there's a lot of scenarios where we can just be like, oh, every land becomes tap the land to do a damage to something, which can just control the board all on its own. And every creature will have this ability, so it's not like they can kill a creature and stop it. They have to wipe your whole board or get rid of the Ag Agatha's Soul Cauldron, which most decks aren't prepared to do in best of one. So that just gets really crazy. Another way we can win is similarly with Valdar and Thrillseeker. If one of our creatures just gets big enough, we can just sack it to the Thrillseeker. Not only that, but the Thrillseeker doubles as a way of getting something into the graveyard so that we can exile it with the Soul Cauldron, so that we can give its abilities to everything. So there's extra synergy built in there. We've got three Tazri Stalwart Survivors because it gives all of our creatures that have activated abilities, which is every creature in this deck, the ability to tap for a mana of any of that creature's colors, but you can only spend that mana on activated abilities. There's a ton of activated abilities that are worth spending the mana on, so again, Olivia's Attendance, not only can we tap every land we tap pings for one if we have training grounds, but now every creature we tap pings for one as well, and that, that just gets absurd. But also, Tazri has the ability to pay five, tap him, mill five, put all creature cards with activated abilities that aren't mana abilities from among the mill cards into your hand. So now every creature gets this ability, and every creature gets a cost reduction on this ability from training grounds, because Agatha's Soul Cauldron makes it so you can spend colorless, and then Training Grounds reduces the cost by two. So you can just go off and have multiple creatures activate this, what would normally be five mana ability every turn and just refill your hand with tons of stuff. It just kind of gets crazy. If they do happen to kill your Training Grounds or your Soul Cauldron and you really need it back in order to go off, you can find one Tamishi with your Fauna Shaman. 
Uh, to me, she's going to let you bounce something. Uh, sorry, bring something back from the graveyard that is an artifact or an enchantment. So Training Grounds, Soul Cauldron, Skrelv, which we have in here to protect our board. And if we exile it with the Agatha's Soul Cauldron, now every creature is a Skrelv and can protect every other creature, which is crazy. Uh, but you can get back Surge Engine. Like, there's multiple uses for the Tamishi. And it gives us nice a nice extra value and a way to come back in a situation where we normally might not be able to come back. And then we've also got one Canker Bloom, because sometimes we just need to kill a certain artifact or enchantment uh, that's preventing us from winning the game. And we can search that out with Fauna Shaman pretty easily. Just turn all of our creatures into Canker Blooms, and then we're good to go. And then the last card is just one Goro Goro, because it allows us to do some ridiculous combos where instead of waiting until next turn, when Summoning Sickness wears off to do our combo out with our infinite mana and all our crazy stuff, sometimes we can just exile Goro Goro and just pay one mana, and no, nah, we'll just do it now. We'll just do it now. And you can make 5-5 five, five red dragons with it as, as a nice little upside, sometimes for only three mana if we have a training grounds in play, and that's fine too. So that's the deck. It does a lot of cool things. We have one Mirex, like most of my decks. We have four Sparas Headquarters. We have the full gamut of, of dual lands. And then one beside you, one Ottawara, one Igonju. The deck is super fun. I think there's probably a real version of this deck that can exist out there. But we took a crack at it during early access and we absolutely made it work and it's just there's backups on top of backups on top of backups and this inevitability that no matter what your opponent does you're going to get to where you need to get to if they don't kill you quick enough because every creature just gains all of the abilities of everything they're killing it's crazy trust me let's check it out keep seven start with the farmland Murex into a Fauna Shaman. Nope, we'll go like Anjo. We'll discard Queen Kayla to search. Search for all the good things. All things that are good. Oh, that's sad. That is very sad. Lord Skitter. Line has been drawn. Wants to play some bullshit. No. You can you can hit. It's fine. Iron Crag. Tazri. Guess we just find Tazri. Play Tazri.
pass the turn. In pretty good shape now. Might have to try to counterspell whatever he plays. Ashiok. the turn. We're going to activate Tazri's ability, I think. But we want to hold up blocks first. It's got four cards in hand. Can we get through it? Decadent Dragon, sure. Plays a land. Plays the Decadent Dragon. Pandrel into the graveyard. Let's find something we can hard cast. Something that's awesome. And we'll pass the turn.
Lord Skitter. Would you like to turn it into an equipment? No. Why didn't you turn it into an equipment? Or did you? Oh, he did. Cool. Surge engine. All right, we'll block one of the rats. We'll have to take the other nine, which is kind of crazy, but we will activate. Discard Goro Goro to find something that generates mana. So many. I think we're going to die. Last turn. I really need to streamline this. This is just like... There's too many options. I don't know what to do. There's a million cards I can search for. with just the dragon and we go to one life.
harvester. Doesn't matter, dude, you win. Is there a way to gain life? We're about to find out. Is there any way to gain life? In this whole deck? No. No, there isn't. Is there a way to kill a boy? Maybe. We need to be able to discard. To. I just couldn't. God damn you, Shieldred. Turn behind. Keep seven. It looks fine. We'll play the Soul Cauldron first, and then we'll play the Hermit while we still have a blue mana up. If we can get a blue mana up. Alright, we'll play this. This is fine. Sleep Cursed Fairy looks fine. Looks like you got the same idea. Don't discard my soul cauldron, you asshole. Thank you. Play Gwenna. If he kills Gwenna, then we can turn something else into a Gwenna. Which is fine. Come at me, bro. Noise. And by noise, I mean 
not nice. Very mean. I'm almost good. Come on, baby. Need a little bit more than that. I need a little bit more than that. Go ahead, kill something. Anything, doesn't even matter. Six, I go to eleven. We'll just exile your edict. He has Tazri. Just need training ground, man. Bell stutter. That is rude. Damn it. That is nothing we can do. You are a dick. Huge dick. Smash. I think I win. Smash. Smash. Ha! That's what you get. For countering my Valdarin Thrill Seeker. Uh, we'll keep it. We've got a Soul Cauldron, so. 
All right, we'll start with farmland. Pull from it here. Okay, we're gonna go surge engine. Asian is Endicar, sure. He is popping right off. Do we play Tazri? I think we play Tazri. So we can add a white, a colorless, a blue. So we should be able to cast... Oh, we can't use it to cast things, though, just to activate abilities. We gotta remember that. Locks Tazri. Nope, it's not going to do it. Alright, that's fine. We kind of want him to. training grounds. Oh god. He got an extra gruff. Wait, what the hell just happened? Oh, he found two gruff triplets. That's insane, dude. Oh my god. I can't believe he found two gruff triplets. I mean, it is what it is. Let me think. How can we win? Three mana, so I have three mana, so I guess I go like this. Last turn. Ow. That's so gross. I haven't even tried the red list yet, yuck. I was trying the list of the people that were here. Oh god. That's just... I don't even know what's happening anymore. Disgusting. Uh, pass the blockers. Can't even fucking kill it. I can almost kill it. But not quite. I'm 
Not quite. Wait, do they have trample? Oh my god, dude. What just happened? There's no way that's consistent, though. I'm not even gonna bother. Thanks so much for checking out my channel. I'd like to give a huge shout out to all of my patrons over at Patreon. Without you guys, this channel would not be possible, so honestly, thank you from the bottom of my heart for all of your contributions. If you haven't yet, like and subscribe. The more likes we get and the quicker we get them, the bigger this channel will grow and the faster it will grow. I'd love nothing more than this channel to become something very special for you guys, but it's entirely up to you how fast that happens. Also, if you'd like more deck text, that's somewhere over there. And if you'd like to see what else the channel's been up to lately, that's somewhere up that way also subscribe circle below do all the things